Hi guys, in today's quick tip video I'm going to show you the new interactions on Home Street. So now on Home Street you can interact with items around your house as well as other players. So I'm just going to invite Mia over and I'm going to show you some of those interactions with her. Now she's on her way I'm going to click on a few items around the house and show you the interactions on them. So to interact with an item you just need to click on it and the character will do the rest. Some objects they interact with anyway so the piano she's done that on her own. So now Mia's here, I'm going to show you some interactions with her. All you need to do to get these is click on the other player's character. And then you'll get a list of options, so make funny face, entertain, tell boring story, ask about day, etc. I like these though because they do actually interact with your character. So instead of just standing there, Mia is actually interacting when you do something. A lot of games like this, if you interact with another player, then they just stand there and don't do anything. So I really like that they actually reply on Home Street. It's nice that they've added these to the game, as I thought the game was a bit lacking without them. Especially now we can use objects around the house. It does make it slightly more realistic. That was the worst high five I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, both her and her cat are sleeping at the same time. I think it's a bit weird how they stand and look at the television and also the bookcase like it's a work of art instead of actually using it properly. Like if you're watching the TV, surely you'd sit in front of it. And if you're using the bookcase, you would grab a book. I love that swing seat. So have a play around, click on a load of things and see what interactions your character can do. If you get any really interesting ones, I'd love to see them. Thanks for watching. Bye.